What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are here for day number two of Comic Con, and we showcased all this yesterday. But we do have brand new stuff on display today that I wanted to go through with you guys. But if you missed our coverage from preview night, definitely go check it out. But we do have some new stuff on display here that we're going to walk through already. So stay tuned. We're going to go through all of it. Uh, of course, there are render images that we have not seen before, and so I don't think those will be in the video. If they are, I guess you'll find out. But for now, I'm just going to cover the stuff that's on display. But we do have a lot of stuff on display that we did not see yesterday. So let's go ahead and just dive into it. All right, guys, so starting out first, we do have the Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition Yokozuna. Not a guy that I would have expected to get in the Ultimate Edition line, but we do have him here. And there's also a Chase version that will feature a white waist wrap instead of the black. We did see render images of this. I guess I can plug that in if possible, but he does have interchangeable heads, and he does come with the world title. These are hand-painted prototypes as well. That's probably why they look, I mean, they honestly look cleaner than True Effects, so that's what you get out of the paint, but you do have the accessories here. We have the same bucket we've seen before, and then he does come with his robe, but very interesting addition to the Ultimate Edition line. Not one that I would actually expect out of it, but we shall see how he performs in all areas, but I think that's the only Ultimate Edition over here in this display case that is new. Of course, we did take a look at all of this yesterday, so definitely check out our video from yesterday on all of these different reveals, but let's break it down some more. So one of the best reveals that I have seen today, man, has to be the unmasked Rey Mysterio here in the Monday Night War set. Man, look at these overalls, the cloth goods in the yellow. You have the Mysterio logos going down here, man. This is absolutely beautiful. We haven't seen this since the Toy Biz day, so finally getting this. I know this is on a lot of people's wish list for a really long time, but now we finally have it in our hands here, man. Hand-painted, or I guess the grayed-out prototype, I should say there, but the cloth goods look really good, and we do have the render image of it, but we also have the other Monday Night Wars figures. Here's Scott hall yesterday he was not flipped around so now we have a better angle of it i think maybe a little bit of dry brushing would really bring this one out but they did change the the tucked in boots they have the tucked in boots now instead of the you know the flat pants or the you know the flared out pants so this looks much better here and you know you could bring it to life some more and he also has a ponytail head sculpt that'll also come with the figure and then we also have the hulk hogan from the same wave here which looks really good and I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have a deco on the shirt. We'll see about that when it comes. But uh, it's got the blackout attack. It looks really good here, really clean. Got the cross necklace. And then here's a front viewing shot of the Kevin Nash here. Show us the adjective. He's got the head sculpt on there with the, uh, I think he's like either his hair is removable, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. He's got the collared shirt going down. And then we do have the removable watch, which was on my wish list for a long time. So we finally have the watch in here for the Kevin Nash. And we're, we're going to see it on the Rocky figure or the Rock figure here in a second out of the three pack. But pants look really good. Not a new sculpt, but I like the way this figure looks. Maybe, maybe one of the best Kevin Nashes we've ever seen, but there is a front shot of these. Yesterday, these were turned around. You didn't get a good shot of them, but now we have a better look at these. So it still got off a weight belt though still got off a weight belt on the Hulk Hogan maybe one day and then coming over here to the left side of the ring we do have the rings uh, not ringside we have the Monday Night Wars Walmart exclusive series 2 elite fake diesel so this is not the real diesel it is a fake version of diesel a lot of people actually have been requesting this figure for a really long time sculpts look nice I uh, saw some people saying it looked like other people but I think it has a nice likeness to it sunglasses look good and everything like that double jointed nice formula on there so I'm enjoying it very unique addition to our figure collections but I think it's worth it and I think it fits right in with the Monday Night Wars so there is is, uh, I think that's all the new stuff that we've seen in here. Again, if you want any detailed shots of any of this other stuff in this cabinet, go check out yesterday's reveal video from Preview Night. And then coming over here above the Legends, we do have the new Ringside Exclusive Three Faces of Foley 3-pack. And you have Mankind, you have Dude Love, and you have Cactus Jack here. Very unique looks. They all come with cloth goods. New head sculpts, double-jointed arms. Man, these look so damn good. I really appreciate these. I think they look much better than the Defining Moments figure. You got the removable wrist gauntlets. The Dude Love is such an upgrade from his Elite 62 figure, even though he may be a little bit lean there, but you know what, I think I can I can oversee it just because of how damn good the shirt looks. You guys know the, the first version of this figure looked, uh, I don't know, it was lacking. For, for the lack of a better term, it was definitely lacking, but I, I like this upgrade here. It's going to be coming soon at Ringside Collectibles. Can't wait to see what the packaging is going to look like, but having all three of these in the same set, very similar to the Hulk Hogan set that we're seeing here. I think they should do that for more people, man. You got Mankind or Mick Foley, and then you have Hogan. I mean, there's so many different guys you could do like that, so we will have to see who else they do that way, but I I would love to see more people get this treatment. Maybe John Cena, maybe he could get a three pack of himself. That would be beautiful. And we really didn't see a lot of Cenas, man. We got like one or two and most of them were basic. So we'll have to check out this new elite WrestleMania Cena over here. But this one right here is beautiful. We have the Rocky, or not Rocky, we have the Maivia family three pack here with uh, the full set there, man. They look so damn good. This rock figure right here is unbelievable. The cloth good shirt, you guys will see. He's got the bracelet and the, and the wristwatch on there. Something again that I mentioned yesterday that I wanted. And now it shows itself here. And then he also has 
the nice loafer shoes here, man. So many different uh, cool sculpts and different customs you can make out of this figure here. That's probably one of my favorite reveals that we saw. Sunglasses, necklace, and then you have Rocky there. Re-release of his figure, and I do believe this is a new boot sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. That looks to be new boots. I don't think we've seen those before. Those don't look like the Usos boots or the uh, the Cody Rhodes boots or Drew McIntyre. Those look to be a brand new sculpt. So that's very interesting to use here in this three pack, but the robe looks good and everything like that. And then over here, man, you got some beautiful deco going on with the necklace and everything. Look at the, just a beautiful likeness. The helmet crown looks beautiful. You have the waist wrap. The tattoo deco looks insane. This is a really cool set, man. I'm really impressed with this set. Really kind of random, to be honest. Like, you know, it kind of came out of nowhere, but I think it's a beautiful reveal. So there is the Maya Villa Elite three pack. I think it's Walmart exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to double check that. And then coming over here, we do have the WrestleMania 40 Elite set here featuring John Cena, The Rock, Pack, McAfee, and Trish Stratus. Now, this Trish Stratus figure is pretty much her Hall of Fame Elite from back in the day. Same head sculpt, same exact everything, except uh, they did give her double jointed arms. And then her kick pad feet are the exact same. It was like basic kick pad feet, which are not very good. I do like that we're finally getting a Pat McAfee Elite. We've seen basics before, but having an Elite of Pat McAfee, gotta love Pat McAfee. Love him here on the channel, so, you know, his head sculpt looks really good. He's got his necklace in there, ripped up pants, and then uh, I feel like a lot of people are going to use that for create a superstar base. We have The Rock here with a brand new head sculpt, it looks like. That looks to be a brand new head sculpt. I think at certain angles it looks fantastic, and then at certain ones it looks a bit weird. It almost looks like a, a hot toy a little bit, but we do have the big torso here, which is good. That, that That's much better. I like this torso for a modern rock. It comes with the WWE Championship from 2013, and then we do have John Cena here in his green attire here and that looks to be the same elite 100 head sculpt I don't think it's new uh, he's got the hat sculpt in there and then he does have the removable sweatbands and that's the same damn jeans color or shorts color they gave him on his like elite 28 figure when it originally first came out and they gave him the older John Cena torso on the newer formula or like the I say newer it's not that new you know what I mean it's like the newer lower body but that's the old torso on that newer body which we haven't seen so very interesting choice and then of course the main entree here is the build a figure kid Nicholas figure with the WrestleMania 34 long sleeve. Didn't expect this one, probably the most random reveal of the day. I did, did most definitely did not expect that, and I actually got to meet him, so that was cool. And his dad, John Cohn, who we got to build a figure of for a referee, so very wild times. Another father son combo coming in. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen father and son build a figure figures before. I don't think that's a thing, but here's Nicholas. Solid head sculpt, looks just like him, you know. And then I guess we could we could have a triple threat match. You can throw negative one in there, negative one versus Dominic versus Nicholas, but that is a uh, pretty crazy reveal for today. And then uh, over here, we just have the same Greatest Hits figures. And then at the bottom, I don't think we added anything new either, but you got to fix that Shawn Michaels. And if we come up here for Elite 105, they did show off Johnny Gargano here, which kind of looking like hero figs in the face a little bit. But we do have Johnny Gargano here, and you guys already know, they, they gave him Johnny Gargano Syndrome. He's suffering here in 2023. I didn't think I'd see Johnny Gargano Syndrome, but it is a thing. I hope that his lower legs are swappable. I guess we'll have to see about that, but they gave him Johnny Gargano syndrome, man. Gonna have to switch out the lower legs and pull out something, but we're not gonna be able to have the pattern. You could take the feet off and put them on some random kick pads. We'll figure that out on surgery, I guess, but figure still looks cool. I'm excited for it, but I think I'm gonna switch the head sculpt and uh, switch out the uh, the apparent problems here. I can't believe they did that, because in the prototype, he had the longer kick pads, but remember we talked about how weird they were because they gave him like that new kick pad mold with the, with the lower legs and it gave him that gap. So maybe that's why they changed it, but they had it fixed before on the fan takeover figure, so I don't know what's going on. And then up next, we do have this new Elite Dusty Rhodes Hell in a Cell Seth Rollins troll attire going on, man. It looks really good in figure form. It's not really, like, when you look at this gear, you don't think it would make for, like, the best figure ever, but I think it comes across beautiful here. I think they absolutely nailed it. I love the deco here on the kick pad. I think they did a really, really good job on this. Seth Rollins was here today. Got to kind of meet him. Didn't really get to, like, formally introduce myself, but I got to take a photo with him and a bunch of other people, so that was really cool and a really exciting opportunity to get to see him in person. So that was awesome, you know, to, to get to see him and everything. But this figure is awesome. I, I love the way this looks. We also saw a, rid, a render of an upcoming Seth Rollins Elite that looks awesome with the new championship. But this is a cool reveal, and it does have the screaming Ultimate Edition head skull. This figure is going to be very dope. I don't know what wave it's coming in, but Seth, I, actually, I think he. This is the, a part of the Top Picks wave, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but it's like a repaint, you know, of, a, of an existing Seth Rollins, and they just put a new head sculpt on it. But this figure is very cool. One of my favorite reveals we saw today, and it was cool to see Seth get presented with it. And then if we go up top, guys, we. 
we do have Chad Gable, who is getting his third elite, I think now. Great looking head sculpt. He's got you know the get the peace signs, and then you you know he's probably gonna have a shoe shirt. But really good formula on him. He looks really damn good. I'm hoping that it's a good attire and everything. But he looks good. Otis is also on the way, and we also have this new Paul Bear, dude. Look at this new torso, new leg mold. I'm pretty sure it's a new leg mold, but this looks fantastic, man. He's really big. He's got some girth to him. So people out there that like the big figures and the heavier figures, this is gonna be your go-to there. And he's also got the massive urn. We've seen smaller ones in the past. That may be why they went with a, a more bigger urn, you know, but that looks really good. And then we also have Roxanne Perez here with the NXT Championship. A really cool gear coming for this, and I really love the attention to detail here on the kick pads with the new sculpted like boots and, and loops and belts going on there. So that looks really good there. And hopefully those are elite and not, you know, basic boots. So that'll be nice to see. But there are the, uh, th these are in the main elite line. And then here on day two, uh, yes, technically day two, but it's really day one, the, the day after preview night here, we did add some retros. You got the Muhammad Ali retro there, which is very interesting. I didn't see that on the panel. If they revealed that, I didn't get to see that. And then we also have Big John Stug, which I don't think we've seen before, but that looks really good. So Muhammad Ali, they're already finding ways to get him back into the line as well. And then over here, we do have new Superstars figures, man. This Kane figure looks crazy good, man. Looks super good. They got reused out of that cape. And you know, it's not accurate. It doesn't go with it, but I still think it's very toyetic and it looks really good. So now we have this like full collection. And then we have this two-in-one Andre. Yesterday, we saw the different Andre, and now he has a different look here today in the setup. Now he's got the, you know, the poofier hair. He's got the blue, and then he comes with the black cloth singlet and the interchangeable head sculpt and then you have the british bulldog man these look so good man the figures just look so damn good they've done a fantastic job here man i love the superstars line plenty i mean this this collection right here is really expanding so uh getting getting harder to catch up on these all right guys so here is the new coliseum collection we do have series four here with the heart foundation and we do have uh, the Anvil, and we do have Bret Hart, man. I don't know how I'm feeling about the Bret Hart. You guys can be the judge. Do you like the head sculpts? I mean, I know they're early, but they kind of look custom made a little bit to me. And now Bret Hart getting another ultimate. That'll be his fourth ultimate. I think him and Ultimate Warrior have the most. And then you do have the Anvil over here, who looks really good, man. That looks so much better than his Elite. Even though his Elite wasn't bad, you know, the Collector's Edition Elite, what was it, 74 figure, was really, really good. These are upgrades to their Elite, what, 42 and Elite 43 figures or something like that, man? or Elite, maybe it was Elite 44 Anvil, I can't remember. I think it was Elite 40, I don't freaking know, man. The previous versions, you have the Elite 43 Bret Hart, and then you have the upgrade for uh, Anvil as well. Both of these look so damn good, and I, I didn't expect these. I didn't expect to see these in the Coliseum collection. We didn't see any Steiner Brothers today. We didn't see, like, really any Cena's besides that one WrestleMania Elite. And so, we, you know, we're kind of we're kind of missing some different stuff. We got a lot of great reveals and some stuff I definitely want to talk about because there's a lot of render images and stuff like that to discuss. And I, I'll try my best to make a video of those separately, but if I can't do it, we'll do like Ultimates, Elites, and Basics all in their own separate videos once I return because those videos take a little bit and like my hours are crazy when I'm traveling out here at SDCC, man. But I think that is every single reveal so far. And I'm trying to vlog stuff and everything like that, man. But it is it is a difficult time. You know, last time in WrestleMania, I had my brother here that could help me film stuff and everything like that. But now, I don't have somebody to follow me around with a camera and just film me. And I have the mic and all those different things. But hopefully, I'll get an interview in. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask Mattel, definitely get those in down in the comment section below. But I think that it's pretty much going to wrap up the uh, coverage for today, at least the walkthrough for day two of San Diego Comic-Con or day one, whatever you want to say. It's not preview night, but you guys understand what I'm saying but that is going to wrap it up man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down below man I'm getting out of here huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel always appreciate those guys if you guys are interested in signing up for that click the link in the description below but I am getting out of here man have a blessed one follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my name toys I'll see you guys later have a blessed one and I'm out